Which NBA 2K player are you? We all play like a specific type. You might have qualities from multiple, but leave in the comments which one you identify with most. First up is the My Career Fiends. Fucking love the offline play. You won't catch them on the park or the pro-am much. They take it to offense when you gotta ask what difficulty they play on. Hall of Fame, consistently racking up the quadruple doubles talking about they're the best player in the game. And you can just as easily find them on Reddit forums being mad as fuck about how the archetype system fucked up the way they like to play. That shit got nothing to do with us. That's for the online people. Keep it online. We have nothing to do with that. These are the OGs, the people that have been playing since 2K9, 2K10 when the My Player was booming. They know all about the NBA 2K Insider, man. They know all about the draft combine and when it used to be like that. They got a feeling in their heart just pitted against Spike Lee for what the fuck he did in NBA 2K16. Fuck the story. How about we get some good ass gameplay on the My Career so we can kick back and enjoy it. These are the same players you can find in your local rec center talking about how they bet their life they can slap you in 2K. They swear up and down they're nice cause they be saucing the Hall of Fame AI all the time. They're too appalled by the My Park sliders to ever give it a chance but whenever you hop online, I'ma see you. The cheesers are up next, you've seen them before. You can catch them on the twos almost all the time. Their favorite archetype is undeniably and unanimously 100% a playmaker. They like to string together combos and do these moves. You're like, how the fuck, what the fuck, and how do you defend this? They got their Elgato recording at all times in case they ever run across someone that talks shit. They drop an average of at least 15 exposed videos every month, man. They're exposing everybody in the community that claimed at any point that they were any way decent whatsoever. Their friends are almost always pushing them to make videos because if you're that good at the game, why aren't you uploading it? When cheesers take a loss, man, they pull out the excuse book and get to work, bro. They just spitting out excuses for why they took an L. These are the same players you can find turning back around after you beat their ass in the park talking about some, oh, let's try it a second time. We'll try and get this exposed video. Cheesers are not physically capable of taking early shots. They're always dribbling the clock down trying to sauce opponents get ankle breakers. And they do. They average about 20 ankle breakers a game. They be out here just fucking saucing people. They drop at least one mixtape a week because they have clips coming out every fucking day from ankle breakers they got that were crazy. If you spot somebody with those ugly ass fucking face scans, they are a certified 100% bona fide cheeser. Hey man, you catch a cheeser pulling up on your court and you gotta put on the try hard pants. It's no joke. It's not like you're trying to get exposed. Cheesers are required by law to get in at least five fights with people in the NBA 2K community. And those fights guarantee their status as a cheeser. Sim heads, man. You can't catch these guys in the fucking park because if you're not playing on simulation sliders, then it's not a part of 2K. Sim heads like to keep stuff official, man. They're the old heads. They want to go back to the old days. They run on sim sliders all the time. They love running the 5v5 on the sim. If you gave them a choice between pro-am and park, they're most definitely gonna choose pro-am. They don't take the game too seriously. They kick back and just enjoy. You know, they're trying to play 2K in their free time. And they're absolutely disgusted by the cheesers. The fact that they're speed boosting and people can blend animations to do all this unrealistic shit drives them crazy. If you can't do it in the NBA, it shouldn't be done in 2K. They like to keep it official, man. They're not out here swearing, getting too angry all the time. They like to keep shit a little bit professional. They usually know about 5,000 devs from NBA 2K that they can contact at any point. And they're 100% the type to drop a patch notes video the second the patch notes drop. The sim heads aren't with the beef, y'all. They'll often engage but never fight with the cheesers. They like to explain the old days of NBA Live 06, way back when NBA Live was dominating and sim was done right. And you gotta appreciate the persistence because through all the bullshit 2K put them through, every year it seems like the game is getting less and less sim, they're sticking through it. Oh, the come ups. The good old come ups. Almost always rocking brown shirts with them sweatpants on. The come ups don't know that they're trash. They honestly genuinely believe that they're nice. You play a game on the park with them and they do not love passing the ball. They will hold on to the ball knowing damn well they don't know what the fuck or how the fuck they intend on scoring 3v1. Come ups have the most egregious claims of whole ball for too long. They're doing nothing with it. They just love holding on to the ball. Come ups are trash in real life. And so they come on 2K and try and exercise their skill 
and they're trashing the game too. You can catch the come ups with their mics on talking shit to you on the park every time you do a little itty bitty mistake like they weren't fucking up a hundred times before you did that. Come ups are generally new coming Golden State fans. They're rocking the gears sometimes on the park as well. It is impossible to catch a come up on the ante up. They know where they belong, regular parks. And here, I established a checklist. If any of these things happen to you while you're playing on the park, you are a certified come up. If you hop on a gut next spot and everybody else leaves, you are a come up. If you're playing a game of park and the guys you're playing with are really good and you notice they're playing a ton of health, you're a come up. If you find yourself even remotely excited to play either house rules or rival day, that's you, you're a come up. Come ups generally start playing with other people at their skill level because no one with half a brain would decide Oh no, I wanna play with this guy. I know he has a garbage park record and he's wearing brown shirt. He didn't make open threes in the last game I seen him play. But fuck it, I enjoy raging, so let me just play with him. A uh, come up's favorite pair of shoes is the 2K generics that you start off with. You can catch him wearing weird shit like a jacket or a big ass fucking hoodie in the park. At a certain point in the come up life cycle, he graduates to Mr. Average. You can boot up your friends list and catch him on the Pro-Am, the Park, or my career. Mr. Average is a hybrid because he contains a little bit of everything from all the types I mentioned before. He got a little bit of dribble moves with him, man. Not no cheeser shit, but he can dribble. You can catch him saying some shit like, Oh, they don't do that in the real NBA. I don't know why the fuck it happens in 2K. And they definitely have a little bit of come-up tendencies. 50% of the 2K community is Mr. Average. These are the people that play for fun. It's casual. You hop on with your friends every once in a while, you get some W's, you take some L's, and you go home. You can commonly find Mr. Average using some of the more unorthodox archetypes like a post score or a paint protector. The ones you don't generally see a lot of people using. I think I find myself in more than one of those categories. I'm actually, I don't even know entirely where I land. In the comments, I don't be afraid to let me know. I let me know in the comments which one you fall under the most. I'm sure y'all had different attributes from different ones. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace.